This is a quick demo on how to display an assessment, particularly for younger students, and then to also enter the responses manually into ExpressGrader. So this is the quick process uh, that you can follow to make that happen. So I have assigned uh, this assessment to my to my demo class, and I'm just going to go to my assignments page, and you can see that this assignment is clear is currently not open. So I'm going to navigate to Live Class Board, and you can see that. It is not open, and the open button is sitting here waiting for me. Uh, but the uh, so the process to to getting these students represented in ExpressGrader, which is where you're going to be recording these responses, and I'll just show you this real quick. You can see there are no students here. So I'm going to come back to Live Class Board, and what I need to do now is submit this assessment for all these students who have yet to start this assessment. So I'm going to open the assessment and now you can see my demo students have not started. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to come to the more button and now mark them as submitted. And I get a request to confirm the submit and I type it and press yes submit and now I show all of my students as having skipped questions and now when I open ExpressGrader, I see all of their names here. And so now I'm ready to interact with my students. So I'll come back to the assignments page. And now what I want to do, you can see that this is, says in grading. I come to my actions button and I go to preview. And so now I can have a window open that is uh, that will let me walk through this assessment one at a time and interact with my students while they are either telling me or uh, uh, what the response is or they might be writing it on a whiteboard and I'm watching it on Zoom. Uh, however you want to organize this for your purposes. Uh, you can also have another window open uh, by uh, pressing control and then clicking on on another page. Uh, I'm not going to do that here because that'll mess up the recording, uh, but you can also have a window open that has the express grader here. So you can have one window open with the preview version of the assessment that you're displaying through Zoom, and you can have another window open with express grader. Now to enter grades here, I'd simply go to uh, to my student that I'm working with, go to question one and click on this first cell. And this displays the assessment. And I can, and it defaults to opening it for changing the credit. But if I am going to be entering responses for my students, I come down here to the bottom, notice in the bottom right hand corner, and click this toggle to edit the response. And now I can actually do the uh, uh, do the question as the student is telling me. Okay, so that is the process. And then uh, once once you're finished here and you can finish with this question, you come here to the next question and then continue to uh, answer for the student. And you just scroll through the question. When you're ready to go to the next student, you can click next student or you can exit the student and go on and click on the uh, the beginning of the next student that I'm that you're interacting with. So you can see as uh, that I in my just little random answerings, you can see that now my response is recorded. I can see what the response is here. Uh, TEI stands for Tech Enhanced Item. So that's the process. So two windows and then basically two steps. You'll start with uh, the assignment, go to Live Class Board, mark everyone as submitted, and then going to ExpressGrader to uh, record responses. That's all there is to it.